Hello grade 12s and welcome back to another video. In this video we will be looking at question number 1.4 to 1.6 of the November 2021 Physical Science Paper 2 exam. Question number 1.4 says a 2 gram piece of magnesium reacts with excess hydrochloric acid according to the following balanced equation. Magnesium solid reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. Which one of the following changes will increase the yield of hydrogen gas? And then we have a whole lot of options. Now before we read through those options, there are some important details that I would like to point out. Number one, they specify how much magnesium will be reacting. Number two, they say that the hydrochloric acid is in excess. This is not by chance. See, if the hydrochloric acid is in excess and it is only the magnesium and hydrochloric acid that are reactants, then we know that the magnesium is the limiting reagent. The magnesium or amount of magnesium used is going to limit how much product we can produce and therefore how much hydrogen gas will be produced at the end of the reaction. When the reaction is complete, all of the magnesium will be used up but we will have hydrochloric acid left over. Lastly, they ask which one of the changes will increase the yield of the, the hydrogen gas. Remember that yield refers to the amount of hydrogen gas. So we may speak of the mass of hydrogen gas produced or maybe even the volume. A lot of learners when they're writing the exams tend to confuse yield with reaction rate. Rate refers to how quickly a reaction is taking place, while yield refers to how much product is produced. So if we would like to produce more hydrogen gas, then we know we need more magnesium solid. A, option A says, crush the piece of magnesium. If we crush the piece of magnesium, which is a solid, then we are increasing the surface area of the magnesium. That is going to increase the reaction rate, but it will not produce the amount of hydrogen gas produced at the end of the reaction. So A is not the correct answer. B says use a 3 gram piece of magnesium. What we are doing here is we are increasing the amount of the limiting reagent. And if we increase the amount of magnesium solid, then we know we will end up with more hydrogen gas. Therefore, grade 12s, we already identified B to be the correct answer. But since some of you may have selected C or D, I'm going to explain why those options are incorrect. C says use a greater volume of acid. Yes, if we use a greater volume, we may have more acid. But the problem is that the acid is already in excess. So adding more of a substance that is already in excess is not going to lead to more product being produced because the entire reaction is limited by the magnesium. That is why C is the incorrect answer or is not correct. If we look at D, it says use a higher concentration of acid. Concentration means more particles per unit volume. So although we may then end up with more hydrochloric acid, the hydrochloric acid once again is already in excess. And that is why D is the incorrect answer, making B the only correct option for this question. Question 1.5 says, the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve P represents the number of molecules against kinetic energy for a certain reaction. Curve Q is obtained after a change was made to one reaction condition. Which one of the following changes resulted in curve Q? Was it A, the addition of a catalyst? 
When a catalyst is added, the curve itself does not change. Instead, the activation energy goes lower because the catalyst provides an alternative route that requires less activation energy or less energy to get the reaction started. So A is incorrect. Is it B, an increase in temperature? Well, if you look at graph P and graph Q, you will notice that the peaks of the graph are aligned. That means that the average kinetic energy of the particles in both situations is exactly the same. An increase in temperature will increase the average kinetic energy. So since the kinetic energy stays the same, B is incorrect. C says an increase in activation energy. If the activation energy was increased, well, the line for the activation energy would move to the right. But that did not happen, so we know that C is incorrect. D then says an increase in the concentration of reactants. If the concentration of the reactants increases, it means that we have more particles taking place in this reaction. And as you can clearly see, curve Q has a greater surface area when compared with curve P. I'm referring to the surface area underneath the graph. This is not by chance, but because when we are looking at curve Q, it represents a reaction where we have more particles. And therefore, D is the correct answer to question 1.5. Question 1.6 is the last question we will look at in this video and it says the expression for the equilibrium constant Kc of a hypothetical reaction is given as follows. Which one of the following equations for a reaction at equilibrium matches the above expression? Now before we look at the options, I would like to remind you that when we write out an expression for the Kc value, we leave out liquids and solids. The Kc expression or into the Kc expression, we only take into consideration aqueous solutions and gases. When we write out the Kc expression we normally place the products over the reactants this is if we are looking at the Ford reaction or let me rather say we always place the products over the reactants the numbers the powers are from the ratio so let's now take a look at the options if we look at option a we see that x is a solid so that means that a is incorrect because we would not represent or place a solid into the kc expression if we look at b we see that x is here a liquid so b is incorrect once again because we do not include liquids in this kc expression then we have option <coughs> c excuse me where we have that all of the values that are in the Kc expression, Z is a gas, Y is a gas, and X is an aqueous solution, right? So all of these are permissible in the expression. However, can you see that the Y concentration is placed to the power of 2? If we look at this Y, it has a subscript 2 and not 2. 2 as the number in front of it representing the ratio in which the reactants will react. So C is incorrect. However, if we look at D, Z is aqueous, Y is aqueous, X is aqueous, and the extra uh, product that forms is a solid. So it is naturally excluded from the KC expression. When we look carefully, we see that the ratio, the number in front of y is 2, and the number in front of x is 3, as described by the Kc expression. This means that D is the correct answer for two marks. Great 12, this brings us to the end of this video. In the next one, we will continue with this question number one, multiple choice section.